Well, this is uh, Erminia and the Shepherd by Guercino. Um, and uh, it depicts a scene from Torquato Tasso's epic poem, Jerusalem Liberata, uh, which was a bestseller in the early uh, 17th century. The picture itself was painted in about 1620, and it was commissioned by one of the greatest of the Italian uh, uh, noble families, commissioned by Ferdinand, um, Cardinal Prince, uh, Duke of Mantua. And it was intended to hang in his new uh, pleasure palace, the Villa Favorita, a few miles outside Mantua. The reason uh, Guercino uh, chose a, a theme from Tasso um, is because the Gonzaga family were great patrons of Tasso in his lifetime and helped to publish his work. So when Guercino was given the freedom to choose a subject for a painting for the new Villa Favorita, uh, he very wisely chose a subject that he knew would please his patron, uh, a scene from Tasso. This shows uh, Minia, as a pagan princess, um, who has fallen in love with the Christian knight Tancred and has tried to gain entry to the Christian camp disguised as a warrior. Um, her disguise is uh, discovered and she flees, hotly pursued by the Christian army. She takes refuge in Arcadia and while she's hiding out in the woods, she comes upon a shepherd uh, sitting in front of a simple hut of wattle and daub, weaving baskets. And she um, originally, he, he's frightened of her initially, but she reassures him. Um, that she means him no harm, and she sits down next to him, and they discuss the virtues, um, uh, or the comparison, if you like, between the simple life of the shepherd, where he has nothing, he has nothing that anyone wants to take away from him, and in contrast, the life of the wealthy, those who own property, and for whom there's never a minute's peace guarding it and keeping it secure. So it's a conversation about the joys of the simple life in comparison to the, if you like, the pleasures but responsibilities of wealth and property. The idea of a girl in armour disguised as a man was something that appealed to the 17th century imagination, were sort of uh, uh, gender swapping in poetry and in plays and even in paintings um, is a common theme and often related to um, popular comedy. Um, Think of Shakespeare, for instance, where there's lots of different role-playing of that kind. Uh, so the picture was um, commissioned, um, taken to the Villa Favorita, which at that time was incomplete, it was still being built, and was unveiled in front of Ferdinand, the Duke. He was so astonished and pleased by this picture that he paid Guercino in full on the spot. Now, this was almost unknown amongst the Renaissance princes. Um, to pay the artist in full um, in, in, one, um, in, in one deposit, and he did. Um, so Guercino was paid and also knighted for his troubles. Um, this success meant that Guercino was um, one of the most uh, desired and patronised artists of his generation. Uh, once he'd secured the support of the Gonzaga family, his fortune was made, and uh, he was... Uh, highly successful, had a huge studio, many apprentices, and died a millionaire. The Villa Favorita um, was one of the great wonders of the Baroque age in Europe, um, but it fell um, into uh, semi-ruin in the 18th century, and in the 19th century it was a complete ruin. You can see the remains of it now. One wing still stands in the middle of an onion field outside Mantua with ivy growing up the outside. Um, so this is one of the few surviving objects from that great Gonzaga collection. Many of the other um, Gonzaga pictures were purchased by Charles I and are now in the Royal Collection in 